Hello guys, this is me Dr. JK and today we will discuss about FCPS part 1 dentistry preparation. So first of all we will discuss about the textbooks that you will need for your part 1 exam. Uh, so you will need these two books. These two books are very important. One is NBD first aid part 1 and USMLE first aid. Okay. The NBD first aid is important because you know it will relate the anatomy, physiology pharmacology and other subjects to dentistry and USMLE first aid will cover your basic subjects and the medicine portion as well right so these two books must be done for theory preparation of FCPS part 1 one more thing I will suggest that do your theory as well as the MCQs you know you cannot clear your exam by doing one thing like you you cannot clear your exam by doing only theory books and neither you can uh, clear your exam by doing only MCQs so you have to do you know both things the theory as well as the MCQs books uh, because uh, if in some uh, you know if you are taking your exam and there is less repeats than you have then you will be dependent on fully on the, you know the theory part of your preparation if there are more repeats then you uh, will be dependent of course on your theory as well as the MCQs books as well so uh, you know that is why the uh, you know textbooks and the MCQs are both are necessary and should be done side by side right so now we'll discuss about subjects and books if you talk about anatomy of course NBD first aid and then you have to use along with NBD you can use a snell review for head and neck and Kaplan for near anatomy for physiology and biochem you can do NBD first aid part 1 and USMLE uh, first aid the rest you can cover uh, you can cover from BRS or Kaplan depend depending on your choice right okay uh, one more thing there are two parts of NBD one is part 1 and one is the you know uh, part 2 okay if we talk about part 1 uh, it will cover your basic subjects if we talk about Part two, it will cover your no no uh, the clinical subjects as well as that contains uh, the pharmacology and that of the oral pathology. I will discuss about that as well. Okay, okay. If you talk about uh, general pathology and special pathology, uh, you can cover it from NVD first aid part one and USMLE first aid. Rest you can do BRS and Gold John pathology. Right. Uh, one more thing there are some students which have you know weak basis or I should say weak you know basic uh, knowledge about the medicine and industry you know they can use uh, Dr. Najib lectures video lectures they are very useful believe me uh, the, there is easiest way to you know prepare but that will be you know uh, time consuming because those lectures are very lengthy but uh, you know that boots the the uh, you know doing those uh, lectures so you can easily do those lectures first of all you uh, you will watch those lecture and then you can cover that uh, you know topic from your textbooks so if somebody wants an easier prep then uh, this is a low uh, you know long route this is not shortcut but you know that it's easiest way is to watch those lectures and then later on cover those lectures or topics from different books uh, he or she preferred okay so uh, if you talk about pharmacology then you can do it from the yes again look I have told you that pharmacology and oral pathology will be in NBD first aid part 2 okay the other basic subjects are there in NBD first aid part 1 right so for pharmacology you can do NBD first aid part 2 and USMLE first aid the rest you can cover from BRS Kaplan or Lippincott okay if you talk about oral pathology then NBD first aid part 2 and you can also use Carlson, Soames or Neville if you talk about oral anatomy, morphology and histology then NBD first aid part 1 and 10 kate and fuller okay and if you discuss about the dental materials then CK is you know usually a good book for it so uh, one more thing I will suggest first of all you should cover dentistry subjects as well if you do have time then cover these subjects but if you don't have time you know uh, uh, due to some reason then you can do one thing and that is you can skip the theory part of these subjects 
and you can cover these subjects from MCQs of Confident, JK's assignment, assignment shaped dentistry, and Rabia D MCQs. Okay, uh, these four uh, you know books are and Confident is of course is this online course, so you can cover uh, you know MCQs of oral pathology, oral anatomy, morpho and histology, and dental materials from these four you know books or uh, course right so these are very important so uh, the people who don't have you know time and uh, due to some reason they can skip theory but I will always suggest to do theory as well as MCQs as I have told that if there are less repeats then you will be fully dependent on your text you know textbooks or theory part of your prep and if there are more MCQs which are repeated, then you will be dependent on MCQs book. So I will suggest if uh, someone is, you know, he is studying for seven hours, uh, sorry, uh, 12 to 14 hours, uh, or le uh, let's suppose 14 hours, then he should do uh, you know, theory for the first seven hours and later uh, seven hours he should do MCQs. Some people, they, you know, uh, they do a theory part of their prep for few months and later on uh, the remaining months they do like suppose they are doing four month months preparation and uh, you know they start their theory for two uh, first two months and the later two months they you know uh, give time to MCQs uh, I, I will suggest not to do that thing I will suggest to do you know both sides uh, both uh, things uh, uh, side by side like to give time of seven hours half time to your theory and half time to your MCQs in a day. That will be, uh, you know, the best way for your preparation because this theory books or this theory portion is not new to you. Okay, you have done everything in your when you 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 was doing your your bachelor, right? So you can cover uh, these things and these things are not new for you. So you should, you know, give half time to the theory and half time to MCQs in a day. So uh, now we will discuss about MCQs book. So of course, COVID and online course is very best for MCQs. And JK's latest edition, you should purchase this. If you do have time, then you should cover these both things. If you don't have time, then you can go for COVID and okay. Asim and shape dentistry is very important. You should cover this. Uh, you should not skip this. And Rabia is also important because it will cover, you know, uh, subject wise uh, preparation like confident right and SK MCQs book for surgery for surgery you know uh, SK himself suggests surgery portion for dentistry but there are students they do you know a medicine uh, book so it depends on your taste or choice you can do surgery as well as medicine I mean you can do any of uh, these two books surgery or uh, medicine and Tanvir notes are also important okay so you should not skip any one of this if you do have time right and uh, I think I have covered everything about the, uh, the subjects and books and the MCQs books right so that's it about uh, today's video Hopefully you enjoyed this video and we will come up with more videos on MCQs how to you know uh, how to uh, how to do those MCQs what is the tricks what are the tricks for you know those MCQs in your exam so we will come up with that video as well so if you like my uh, my video about preparation please subscribe to my channel and take care bye bye